Hello and welcome. It's just a uh, I'm getting hair in my eye in my mouth I should say. Um I'm currently in the park but I'm gonna go and try that bank again on my way to Sainsbury's and see if I was just freaked out by all the things that had happened before. Hopefully that is the case. I feel like I'm blinded even though it's not that sunny and <laughs> but I can't see properly. Anyway, um Hopefully it works out this time and you'll find out if this if you see the rest of the footage from this. Hello everyone. I wanted to add this bit in at, at the bit. I'm just at the moment I'm just editing and um, I'm gonna voice over a lot of this uh, to explain everything. However, um, I'm just on, up, on the way up to the bit where I turn back from now so in the next bit you'll see it. it's like four minutes long I think so I kind of left that as is with the sound effects from the traffic and everything um, and then I'll get back to you afterwards and explain how things were and, and obviously all the rest of it as I go further on um, I hope you make sense of that <laughs> somehow <laughs> um but yeah i'll catch you in a bit
what you should have seen was me cross the bit where the tree was. I'm using me like cheap a GoPro thing rather than my phone, uh, which doesn't pick up this, the sound as well. Um, and in some ways, I suppose real effects would have been to have me phone, so I would have been able to speak at the same time to give you exactly how I felt. However, um, so I stayed on the, the the one side of Newcastle Road that I knew that was fine. Um, that was okay, but I could feel um, the build up, the the sort of tenseness on my chest, the pressure and then the feeling sick um, the closer I got um, I got across the roads um, and then obviously past the tree as I said which isn't which isn't great because you do feel like you're going up on an angle and then I um, got to that bit of the road where I turned back before now I went down that part and to be honest that part was fine like I had no issue actually when I when I did it and I think the last time I just yeah, built fine. up so much that I, I made it scarier than it actually was um which is it which is essentially what anxiety I suppose and fear and panic and all that does really it makes everything a lot worse than it actually is and and, and it's usually linked to one issue or one thing that's happened before anyway so when I got to the other side you might have seen the white van um, the pathway was quite upright and I was like oh which is which is another thing that's quite daunting because you kind of think how am I supposed to like physically go up at that angle it, it just doesn't seem normal you know um, but I thought well judging from it the best way was to go that way and, and sort of turn down a street that I wasn't actually going to go into but it just seemed the easiest and I don't know if you heard but the the bottom of the foot plates and the bottom of the wheelchair scraped the path because of the angle was too high um, which of course did nothing for my uh, <laughs> for, the, for the way I felt so I ended up um, sort of sitting there and I've just cut that bit out actually I sat there for a good few minutes to calm myself down because my heart started to race really badly um, and I tense up so much and it starts to ache um, anyway where I am now I couldn't see if there was the drop down because the angle of the bank was so high so I couldn't see if the drop down was okay uh, which actually it wasn't to be honest it wasn't great uh, but there was one further around the corner but I couldn't see that so I've had to come back up on myself here and cross, cross on the uh, zebra crossing um, but yeah so obviously given so far I was already like really tense really anxious and like trying to calm myself down and repeating to myself you know and I, and I was getting calmer and then I would be like that some other little thing would happen so you know and I suppose that's life but it's just when you go going somewhere new in the wheelchair you know the hurdles that you face is is, is uh, sometimes pretty daunting um, I mean here when I crossed the road here it was all completely fine and then um, it was, this was fine and I was able to look up, up that way uh, where I came from and see that there was a drop down around the corner but obviously I didn't realise that you know um, so I think it's once I've done something a few times it feels less of a of an obstacle I suppose which I suppose is, is true in anything. It doesn't. It doesn't matter who you are, wheelchair or not. But um, I think it just really annoys us, like the the state of the paths and stuff. Like, and the sad thing is, 
is before I needed the wheelchair, I was totally unaware of it, and it just didn't occur to us what people were facing, and you, you'd think there'd be, there'd be more done, like, to make it better for everyone, you know, not just like, me but people who have issues with mobility in terms of we've got walking sticks or or whatever um obviously it's an issue for them this building here on on the right hand side is the old fire station and weirdly it didn't have a drop down on this curb bit here and to be honest i could have sort of bounced myself down and i have on occasion had to do that here and there but um I kind of stared at it for a while and then decided to go around the back way of the fire station. I knew that I could do that um, because I'd looked at Google Maps and like I said even looking at Google Maps sometimes it doesn't even give you every single issue that you're going to face because there's just so many things that you don't think about um, and I, I honestly like really think I need to, to do something about it. I don't know why but I really feel like I need to do something about it um, and complain <laughs> somehow. I'm not really sure how I go about that, who to and what I would actually say. Um, anyway, as I'm coming around the back of the fire, the old fire station, the whole of this bit there in front, you, you can see it's like a good groove in the ground so I found the, the, the less less sort of the evil of it all and, and sort of went that way um, again this is all just like bouncing about with, you know when I first was coming out in the wheelchair I used to get a lot of neck and back pain neck and shoulder pain because I think I was just my body was bounced that about in the wheelchair like you, you just don't even think about it um, obviously there's, there's no suspension. <laughs> yeah, someone someone needs to like invent the Ferrari. There probably isn't a Ferrari of all types of wheelchairs out there somewhere. Um, so obviously this is me coming out of the other side of the, of the back of the fire station. Um, I won't get into closures of fire stations but yeah. <laughs> um, but again, all of this path here, I was like trying to avoid the, the potholes and um, again it was just all bumpy and um, you know, the, the, the uh, GoPro is tied on but you can even see that it bounces about a lot um, as I go along. So, this is like the start of Sea Road. Um, there's a club on the right hand side just to go down called the Mill View and then after that is Sainsbury's and I used to go to Sainsbury's with my my mum um, fifteen years ago so I haven't been down this way like for at least fifteen years, maybe a little bit more even and um, and as I said, I used to come into this, uh, into the Sainsbury's. But again, I had issues when I got here, um, which you'll see in a minute. Just having to wait, wait for the cars to come out and go in. <laughs> That's the other thing as well, seeing around walls. Um, <laughs> It's, it's a thing, it, it's like a magic power, <laughs> you just have to have it. So anyway, I decided to come in this way instead of going right along the other side. Um, but then, as you can see, the drop curve there, it's like literally just a drop. So I, I thought, do I want to attempt that? I mean, I know it's not very big, but again, it only it's only going to take something little to tip me over and I, I re, you know, I don't want to fall. <laughs> uh, obviously there was the the humps there so I didn't go that way and decided to go the other way around because I knew there was like a trolley ramp on the other side so that's what I did. I went round the front way. Um, 
but I also checked out the pub which is there because I know they have disabled access and I thought oh I wonder if I can get there not that I went in the pub which you know it's a shame I should have but uh, <laughs> but yeah I um, I thought I would just check it out and check and see if like I was able to get in because even though some places have disabled access they're still not any good for me um, because my wheelchair is a bit bigger and so therefore they're not quite wide enough for people to put obstacles in the way because they just don't think um, so yeah So I was looking at the doorways, going along here to have a look, see what it was like. <laughs> you know, you've got to check out the pub. <laughs> As you can see, there's one of them there. And it, as long as I had, well, someone was there to open the doors, I'd be able to get in, no problem, it wouldn't be an issue, so that's good. So this was, this is the trolley ramp thing so that was pretty easy simple um didn't have any issues and then like i said i haven't been in here for like 16 years 15 16 years or whatever it is um and the thing is i think i still wasn't relaxed you know because i all, you, all i can think of is i've got to go back um so obviously those issues that i faced on the way down uh, where the wheelchair was, especially where the wheelchair was scraped the ground, I'm thinking I've got to go back down that. And for some reason, going down is worse. Like I'm, if I if I have to fall, <laughs> I'd rather fall backwards um, than I would frontwards, because I don't think having a wheelchair land on us would be a good thing. <laughs> well, not for anyone. <laughs> but coming here and me just me. To be honest, my brain was up my ass. I just couldn't think. I was like, "Do I need anything?" I don't know. <laughs> um, and I, and I think all I was chewing about is, I've got to go back. Um, and although most of it was fine, you know, obviously I had to cross roads and issues, and I did manage to get round, and it weren't perfect, and the ground was a mess and things. Uh, there were still them um, little bits that were sort of scaring us I guess so I must have looked like I've just been gone in there and pinched stuff or something I don't know <laughs> because I obviously literally just drove around the aisles and then came back out well I got, I got to the top here and that woman who's coming out there she left the trolley pretty like the thing pretty much in the way in a sense so when I come round the other lady standing, she came over and moved it. But, um, I don't know. So, what I, uh, plus I was looking down there and then I was thinking to myself, well, I get past that bollard thing, which I probably would have, but I think again, I just start to get a bit worried and I just thought I don't even know what I want because I couldn't think like I said so I just thought let's go out of here go somewhere I know and in my head I was thinking I'll go to Tesco because obviously I, I can get to that simple enough I know on my way there I've been loads it's not an issue um, and then I started thinking how am I going to get to Tesco that, that is the issue <laughs> going back the way I came obviously filled us with a bit of fear but I kept saying to myself, you've done it, it should be fine. But it still had that, like, fear to it. Um, and then I thought, well, I know if I go the other way, I'd been along that street. I'd been along about a, about an eighth of it. Um, so I decided to go a different way back. Um, I came back out here and I was I was going towards the uh just like to come off the, <laughs> off the side there so it was easier. I don't know why. Probably just wasn't thinking. But um, I 
because I came around here, I realised there was also like road humps on the path further down. Um, and I was going to go around because I want to go. On, I wanted to go on the street on the other side. Um, so I managed to see that they were flatter on one end, so I went towards them. Went round. I don't know why I'm saying that because it's not like you can't see. I didn't crash into the car even though it looks like I did. <laughs> and I don't know if you can see, but there's barriers over there. And I thought, do I attempt to go towards them and then duck under it or clothesline myself by accident, which wouldn't have been good. But, um, <laughs> um, yeah, so I came back where I, ca I came from. And as I got so far along, um, I must have pulled the arm off the remote on the uh, wood hair and it stopped. And then I was like, oh my god, I'm like conked out. <laughs> uh, so I started panicking, and as you can see, I'm here. <laughs> um, and I realised I just pulled it off the, because it's got two, like a fixed join what you just have to push together so I push it back together and then when I switched it on it was fine I was like <laughs> so, so yeah I think I, I sat there a second to calm down again honestly it's mad because when I go somewhere I know so well I don't think about anything I'm just like I, I guess you, your brain goes on automatic pilot I watched uh, program once and it's like when you do journeys that you do repetitively um, it, sometimes you can't even remember doing the journey because your brain is autopilot it goes in autopilot because it knows the journey so well so then you're sitting there going where did I go along that way I can't remember doing it this morning and it's literally because your brain sets to autopilot um, but yeah, so I decided I decided to come um, the other way around. So from my house, I'm kind of doing like a complete 360, um, and it took us an hour to go from mine to Tesco. Well, about about 55 minutes or so, 50-55 minutes, which essentially. Um, use the child on the Xbox. Essentially, um, it means, well, it's probably that this was the longest, like, I'd gone anywhere, if that makes sense, like, in one go. Um, so I've gone to see my parents, which is like 25 minutes away, and then like, I switched the machine off and, uh, switch the wheelchair off so it, when I'm static um, but yeah I've put out a lot of this on, because this road is really long <laughs> so uh, I'm going to cut out a lot of this and then I'll come back near the other, other end Okay, so as I said, I've cut out a lot of the footage. So I'm probably about three quarters of the way along this road now. Now, um, my parents used to live on this road, uh, so I know it pretty well. However, again, I knew it pretty well when I was on my legs, shall we say. <laughs> and so therefore, I don't know it like this at all. And it, you 
kind of think it'll be alright. I'm like, it'll be alright, it'll be alright. And I have to say, coming this way, I had only one issue that I can think of, and that was like with the drop curb, which meant that um, I had to come down the curb a little bit. Um, but I, I, I found the lowest point that I could and did it that way. Um, probably rattled some sense into my brains at least. <laughs> um, but yeah, as I said, I know this. I know this uh, road very well because my parents used to live on it, and also my dentist was on it as well. <laughs> and further up this side of it, further along. Uh, is where the fire is and the coffee one that I go to so once we've got once I get past this, this block and the next block then I'm in an area that I know really well and so I go that way to go to Roker Park I go that I went that way to go to Seaburn yesterday which will be a video about I've been uh, that way for choir I've been that way for um quite a few different things so like once I pass this next block I can relax again because I know that I'm not I know I'm not gonna face any issues that I'm that I run I'm unaware of unless it's something that comes up randomly. So like I said um, no, when his son just comes out his room with his headset on and he's waffling away and has no clue that I'm doing this and so yeah that's great but anyway <laughs> as I was saying oh no he's going to come back the other way so now he's going to waffle now Anyway, he's back in his room now, so I keep going. So yeah, so I've been, uh, although I haven't crossed this bit before here, I have literally been just the other side of this. So the church, you can just see, is on the left hand side. That's where choir is and, and um, the coffee morning. So I know this path here and I know that all of this is fine. Uh, so again, this was like, I, I literally felt my whole body relax because I know that like I'm fine now. And I know if ever I go back that way again, like to um, the Sainsbury's or the Blue Bell for like say dinner or something, then I would go back along this long along this road here rather than go the way I came in the first place because this was less ha like there was less issues so the only was that one little um curb thing that was an issue the rest of it although like it's you know still general still the state to the path still you know had all those things but nothing major in the sense of like that would you know that I'm scared that oh my god I might tip over or that's too steep or there was none of those issues so that makes it much easier <laughs> makes us makes us feel much better um but yeah I uh so I could, like I said I come this way for choir and um coffee morning and at the top of here there's the person who lives there's garage but he has a drop down curb that goes on to his uh, in front of his garage so I kind of cut across that apart from when his car's there which is obviously not his fault but it is annoying <laughs> for me because <laughs> I have to go all the way around the outside I'm sure that's a song that won't get in. now I'm starting to get the hiccup now if your son mounting off on headset, now I'm getting the hiccups. Honest to God, I'm I'm like really good at these things, aren't I? Like really good. Um overall though, just to wrap I suppose wrap this up as I'm I've got about I don't know how long left. Ten minutes. 
I don't know what it is. Anyway, just just to finish this off, I wanted to just say that I'm really chuffed that I did it. And despite all the anxiety and the issues that I've had, or like the worry about it, and even the sort of going here in the first place, despite all of that, I am really chuffed that I did it and that I I went back and faced it because obviously it is it is in the past something that I wouldn't have done. I would have let the anxiety and the fear control uh, which I'm not saying is easy, don't get me wrong, I know you know, I spent so many years in my room, in my house because of it. But to be able to say I've done it, and I know now that I know which way I'm going and what's happening and what it's like there, I know that I would still, I would still go back that way, but it's the way I came back rather than the way I went, because that was just less stressful, um, or it felt less stressful. But yeah, um, I am really chuffed and I think that what happens is, is your brain, when you're anxious about something you fear it, your brain is doing that thing to try and protect you. So obviously it gives you all these responses to stop you from doing something that it thinks is going to harm you because you've had that reaction and felt so stressed or anxious or panicked about something. Um, and obviously your body's just doing what naturally it should do to protect you apart from it then starts doing it to things that's not actually so it's, it's kind of like if you were faced with a lion you would have this automatic response of like shit <laughs> and, and leg it oh by the way this red setter um, is absolutely lovely my uh, my He's so placid, but my dog absolutely like loves him. He like whenever he sees him, he gets get excited. Anyway, side note. <laughs> um, as I was saying, it anxiety and fear and everything. It's normal to have those things, and especially say if you're going for a job interview, you're having an exam, you're going on a first date, whatever. All those things, yes. That they should make you anxious and that's normal but it's when those things stop you doing things that like well stop you even doing those things but then stop you doing little things in your life like going outside which mine did um, and because it protects us from say if you've been in a certain way and you've had something happen or like you felt stressed and anxious about a certain way then you your, your body starts to say oh well I'll not go there either just in case and I'll not go there either just in case and then before you know it you don't go anywhere and it honestly just wrecks your life um, and I know so if you are struggling and even if you can't do it on your own try, try taking a friend and conquering things that that, that scare you a little bit um, get help you know as well with with your your, your GP um, he might be able to refer you so here obviously is my Tesco <laughs> and I'm, I'm so happy to be back here because it just it gives us that um, comfort I guess and um I uh, I go in here. I haven't had my dinner yet, so I get myself a cake and a cup of tea. <laughs> so I'll put a picture of that on to show you. It was it was a millionaire shortcake. It was 350 calories, but it was it was the best thing I've tasted in forever. <laughs> it was actually really nice. So thank you very much to everyone for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and I will catch you next time. Bye bye.